how to own your dream villa on Mallorca for a fraction of the price. Buenos dias. Good morning. Que tal? How's it going? Bien. Well, that's your Spanish lesson for the day. Um, quick apology before we begin. In the previous video, I said that this would be the last video. It's not. It's the second last video. And the reason for that is I've been in uh, real estate in Spain for quite a long time. And a lot of this stuff is kind of second nature to me. And sometimes I'm, I forget that a lot of people who are watching these videos uh, know virtually nothing about Spanish law and Spanish real estate law. So that's why I'm doing these videos in little short clips so I can explain stuff more clearly. So there will be one more after this, which will explain to you how you can invest in a 2 million euro luxury villa for less than the price of a two bedroom apartment on the island. And by the way, this is uh, the local rag, the local newspaper, the Mallorca Daily Bulletin. They still insist on spelling it with a J when just about everyone knows it's double L. But it's a good little paper. It's out every day except a Monday. So if you're across on a trip, I definitely recommend that you should buy it. Okay, let's go on with the video. We've been talking about how to effectively invest in a 2 million euro luxury villa for under 200,000, using a centuries old tradition that the Spanish employ regularly in a way that keeps your investment not only secure, but UK based and subject to British laws. The first thing you need to know is this, and it's important. Most holiday properties owned overseas, that's in Spain, France, Florida, or wherever, are used on average 17 days a year. We Northern Europeans buy with every intention of using the property for more than that, but, and you can Google this for yourself, the average is just 17 days a year. Please remember that number. It's important and I shall be asking questions later. 17 days a year. So what happens to the property for those other 348 days? Basically, not a lot. It just sits there costing you money. Let's say you wanted to buy a holiday property. Let's say you wanted to spend maybe £200,000 or euros or whatever. In the higher value areas of Spain, such as Mallorca, Ibiza and Marbella, you'll get a two bedroom apartment for that. The first thing you need to know is that it won't be a particularly large apartment. If you bring your cat on holiday with you, you will encounter some problems in swinging him. There are of course other problems associated with apartment living, such as noisy neighbours, slamming doors, and screaming kids. Don't you just love them? Uh, no. But if you've been to Spain in the past, you probably know that the Spanish are quite noisy anyway, so it's not always a big deal to a Spaniard. Which is why most of us would really prefer a detached villa, yes? But even little villas near the coast start at about 500,000 euros. You can find a more affordable villa in the interior in one of the villages, but like villagers everywhere, you need to live there for about 20 years or so before anybody will actually speak to you. Been there, done that. And in Mallorca, they hardly speak Spanish, just a local Mallorquin, which might as well be Martian. So how could you possibly afford this? A 2 million euro contemporary modern new build luxury villa 400 meters from the beach. It's simple, it's easy, and it's secure with UK based crowdfund free share UK partnered ownership. What we've done is to take this property and place it inside this limited company. Like that, but not in Spain in the UK, and so, now the map looks like this. In the last video in this series, I'll be explaining this, those 17 days a year, and revealing something that will blow your socks off. Don't miss it, you can't afford to, believe me. There you go then, um, one more video to come. Um, I would just like to say at this point that there's only one share going to be made available in Villa Dragonera. So if this kind of thing piques your interest at all, I would encourage you to take action quickly because, as I said, there's just one share being made available. So, until then, adios. Um, hasta luego. See you later. Bye.